YouTube. I'm here today to do a Friday Reads video. I'm sorry for not um, posting any videos this week. Um, I had a very unexpected um, rough week at work. It was very busy with, um, you know, your end and um, all sorts of fun things there. And then I also had a bad migraine headache leaving me um, to leave work on Tuesday. And so when I came back on Wednesday, I was just I just had a mountain of work to do, and so yeah, I just didn't have any energy to uh, film videos. But I'm I'm back, <laughs> and um, this is actually my um, birthday week weekend, and um, so yeah, I'm hoping to have um, a nice relaxing weekend, which is what I really want my birthday. Um, we are gonna see um, me and my boyfriend are gonna see um, some movies. Um, he has a, he found this like um, AMC um, like movie pass things, and so. It's, um, it's something I never heard of because um, the city I was living in before didn't have uh, AMC, but there's a lot around here in this area, and so it's like a membership where you could, you only pay, he said, like two um, tickets worth for a month, and but you get like up to three uh, movies a week, and so I was like, oh, this, this would be nice to like, see, because I, I know like Christmas time, there's always a bunch of um, really good movies coming out, so I'll, I'll test it out for a month and, and see what I think, because I'm not much of a movie goer, but um, yeah, that's really all my plans I have for the the weekend. Even though it's my birthday weekend, I don't, I don't really want to do anything big or anything like that. Um, but yeah, like movie and reading and maybe a nice lunch out. That, that's all I really, really want. Um, so this weekend, I'm mainly focusing on um, finishing up books. I Unless, unless I get all of these done, then I'll start something new, which I, I probably will. <laughs> because I'm, I'm like starting so many books. I feel like I have so many books on the go right now. I think I have like six books on the go, which is a lot for, for me. I like to keep it everyone like three. Like a physical, an ebook, and an audiobook, but um, but yeah, I have a lot going on because I just I just want to read everything. Um, but yeah, so these are the books I'm currently reading. Um, this is *The Girl in the Tower* by Catherine Arden, and this is a uh, book two in her trilogy. And this is like a perfect winter read. It's set in Russia, and it has a lot of like fairy tale um, themes and like uh, Baba Yaga. And so this is the second book, so I'm not going to spoil any, spoil anything. But it's about a um, a young woman is the main character, and this it's like a fan, it's a fantasy, like magical realism series, and she is living in this um, small town in like the north and north of Russia, and um, and so in this one she's off on an adventure, but I I don't really spoil, want to spoil anything, but um, yeah, so I, I'm really enjoying this one. I I'm having a hard time putting it down, um, but yeah. I, I really want to um, read more um, Russian fairy tales. I've read several of the Grimm fairy tales, and um, and I've read Baba Yaga. Oh, there's a tree again. This cat. Oh my gosh. I've come in a couple times after work, and it's been tipped over, but not like this way. It's been tipped against the wall, so um, yeah, that hasn't happened yet, but I, I need to like stabilize it or something, like uh, glue it, to, like not glue it to the wall, but like strap it to the wall so it doesn't like fall over. Oh, yeah. Every, also, every time I make a video, you're going to see this tree like tremble, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I really want to read um, some Russian uh, fairy tales just to um, learn more about the culture because it's, it's very interesting and like yeah, so it's like constantly talking about like you know the winter cold and the ice and so yes, yeah, it's, it's perfect for this for this time of year. And then the other ebook I'm reading is um, I saw this on two different uh, two or three different channels. I think it was um, Rachel over at Kalinati and um, someone else. I might be wrong, but this is um, the Ladies' Ladies Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite, and this is um, a um, story about a, a an astronomer, like a really a mathematician, and her because her father is an astronomer, astronomer, and so she grew up um, being surrounded by math, and so she helped him. Um, with his his mathematics, like he was, her, her father was coming with all the ideas, and so she was like, you know, showing actually, you know, how how his idea, you know, comes to life, and she is in a relationship, and um, her um, lover uh, gets married, and so she is just distraught, and um, her her um, this other woman, uh, she is looking for a translator for um, her French her French work in, uh, about astronomy, and so she goes over to, um, to help her out, and then, you know, she's expecting, a, you know, a, a man to come and, and help out with this math. He couldn't believe that, you know, this woman was, um, was doing all of these figures, and so, you know, they, like, obviously by the cover, you know, there um, is a relationship that um, forms, and so I'm just, I just started that part, I think I'm like 25% the way in, 
and I'm really enjoying it. It's very fast paced. I think it's it's really short because like my Kindle doesn't show the pages, but it says like around four hours. So yeah, that, that's pretty short because I mean like an average I don't know ebook, it's like eight eight hours something like that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, this is this is really good. And then um, I'm reading a Texas kind of Christmas, um, and this is a um, anthology with Jody Thomas, Celia Bonduch, and Rachel Miles. And what I saw this in the library, and what caught my I wasn't the cowboy, it was this author, because um, I read several um, of this author's work, and I really enjoyed it. She's one of my favorite uh, romance authors that I've discovered um, throughout this year. And also it has a really cute dog on the cover. Um, so I've just started, I've just made my way in, um, and I've started with Jodi Thomas's story. And what I like about her is, oh, there's my dog. Um, I think you can come over here and uh, get in the picture, maybe. Come here. Maybe. <laughs> it's hard to get on camera because he, he's just so big. Come here, Tucker. And he doesn't, he doesn't like being moved. He's like, I'm going to decide where I'm at. Come here. Let's see. There he is. There's the face. It's like pouring outside rain. So we didn't get a walk in today. But he actually, um, he really likes playing hide and seek, which is kind of funny. So like I can um, hide any, in like behind the shower curtain or in a closet or, or what have you. And he'll find me. And so I always have, I have him like sit in like the foyer and then I go and like hide. And then he comes, find, comes and finds me. It's just adorable. Um, so we get some exercise in there um, when it's raining outside. And yeah, yeah can't get a walk in but yeah so anyway back to the book um um so yeah what I like about her writing is that it's focusing on many different um characters and so you get um in each chapter is like their own you know you get their perspective and so I think you get a lot more out of the story and this is uh the first story is focusing on um a ball and uh the father's like well the father has like an evil stepmother and she's like you know get this get the daughter off of your land I, I want to I want to own it now I don't want any other female and you know um taking over for what you know what I, what I want to do um and so um to share the ball it's like okay you're gonna pick your husband and you know you're gonna leave but um but the woman is she's kind of she's shy and she's she's been abused by the stepmother you know with like really cruel words and so um she doesn't really want to um she doesn't really trust people and she doesn't want to find a husband, but, um, so she hides away in this, like, um, like, storage area with, like, the trucks, um, and, uh, with, like, the, um, because this is a historical, um, at least the first one, excuse me, is set in, like, the 18, 1850s, and, um, so, yeah, there's, like, trucks where, we, we, you know, where, instead of, like, luggage, uh, for their luggage, yeah, so anyway, um, so she stores away over there, and, um, lo and behold, there is a, um, man in there as well, um, because he is hiding away, because he is, like, running from the law, even though he didn't do anything, so yeah, it's just, it was just a really nice, um, story, um, but the other two, I haven't, I haven't heard of Celia Bonduce, I can't pronounce this word, Bonaduce and Rachel Miles, but what I like about anthologies is, um, you know, finding other people's, writing and discovering other authors and see, see if I like them. And so, yeah, this will be a nice uh, Christmas uh, anthology to get to. And then the last one is what I'm finishing up is Dreams of El Dorado, A History of the American West by H.W. Brands. And I am almost done. I have like, I don't know, like 50 or 60 pages left to go. And I am really liking this. Um, it's, it's written um, in a way that it's very, very readable. It's easy to understand. It's easy to follow. And he hits like all the high points. Um, there's like I just finished the part where the you know they're connecting the railroad from um the like the uh, plains area in Sacramento how like they were you know going over the mountains and there was you know race a competition you know who's gonna like meet in the middle and um then we talked about um, talked we talked about it I read about um uh, like the Latter Day Saints how they're setting up in Utah and like the I didn't know like I I know a bit about the Mormon history but um there's this I can't remember the name of the battle, but it was just gruesome. Um, they were traveling around and trying to find um, a spot to settle, and they had tried to um, settle in Missouri, but they were, you know, rebuffed and turned around, and um, they ended up in Utah. And there was a um, a traveling group mixed with Arkansas and Missouri uh, people uh, making their way across to California and Oregon. And they had run out of supplies, and so they decided to go into Salt Lake City to get to get some supplies. But they were turned around, so like, okay, fine, we'll leave. And so they didn't do anything. We were just going back, and they were you know going back on the road and leaving. But um, they were ambushed by um, 
from Latter-day Saints and were just annihilated. I think it was, it said like 120 people were just killed. And so, but the, um, the Mormons brought a couple, uh, a group of um, Indians because they were used as like their militia in a way. And so they blamed it on the Indians. Like, well, the Indians did it. And it wasn't until years later where they found it, you know, the whites, you know, the white people ha had done it. And, um, yeah. So that was that was really gruesome to read about. Um, so I'm learning lots of new things, and um, yeah. So if you if you like history, um, like American West history, or um, you know, like the whole Western expansion, this this is just it's really good. And um, it's not like it's not it's not really like broad strokes. He's he's focusing on different people. I mean, different like you know, opportune moments in history, which you know, which is a different way of writing it. And um, yeah, I think it makes it. Um, like more readable because you know you're getting it from their what's happening in their lives and um so yeah this is it's really good and it's really fast paced like I said and um the font is I don't know if you can pick it up it, it's pretty big and so I'm just like flying through it it's, because some like big history books you know the font is really small like a Hamilton book I've been reading it's really small and really dense and so it's hard to get through but this is just quick and easy um so yeah I don't think it would turn off people from uh, reading history but yeah, those are my plans for um, this weekend. Um, we'll see how I do uh, when I talk about my uh, what I read on Sunday, even though my Sunday wrap-ups don't include Sunday. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks. See you soon.